Welcome back to Virtual Reality Game Devet. This is the 13th tutorial for our friend Sky. Now finally we get to put some texture on our model and actually make it look nice and look real and whatnot. However, uh, the model that I showed you right at the beginning um, is actually set up for my game. So the outside had uh, ivy and uh, moss and whatnot all over it. So I'm going to do this one a little different. I'm still going to put the same roof tile on it, um, but I'm going to use the roof tile that goes on the game model after you um, repair your roof. And uh, so it's not going to have ivy on it. Um, okay, the very first thing we need to do is talk about UV mapping. Okay. UV mapping is fairly complicated, but really, really cool. We uh, got into, I mentioned UV mapping in the last video, so I'm not going to describe what it is again. I'm just going to show you. Okay, go ahead and come down here and select whichever layer you have only the roof in. Okay. And uh, go ahead and select that object. We only want to select this actually. So just right click on it and then go into edit mode. Go hit tab to jump to edit mode. And then we just want to make sure all these faces are selected. They're just planes. So you can press A to select all. Now how we want to do this, we actually want to um, UV map it so it looks like the tile is coming down from the front or whichever side we're looking at at that time. So how we want to do this is go ahead and press 1 on your number pad to put yourself in the front view and then only select those two front planes. Yes, we only want to not you don't want to select the whole thing at once. I was at first I was thinking about going ahead and trying to UV map it from the top. But that's not how I did this. You want to uh, only select the front planes. So, press 1 and put yourself in uh, the front view. Okay. Come down here to mesh under UV unwrap you should see actually before we do that one thing we want to do go ahead and close this and uh, over here at the side down here come down to this little option and pull it over okay we're going to need a second screen to work with here and pull this over a little bit if you need to and in this screen come up to UV image editor okay now the first thing we want to do we want to put our UV map in this area okay so now that we're in our front view and we only have these two selected come down under mesh under UV unwrap and say project from view okay click that option and now you see we have this view came up over here right now we need to put our image in so go ahead and click new image oh, click open image excuse me um, if you don't have any images if you don't have any textures I'm going to put a caption up here um, linking to our tutorial introducing filter forge which is one of the best programs that I've ever seen for making textures and whatnot so that's what you uh, that's where all of my textures are made from uh, find your textures mine happen to be in my unity folder under acquired assets I have a textures folder here. 
And I have all kinds of images. I have a lot of textures. I'm looking for roof, tile, no ivy. Roof, tile, ivy. Roof, tile, no ivy. This is the one we want. Let's go ahead and double click that and it'll open it right up. Now the first thing we see is it's not right. We want to zoom back out of here a little bit and then see now that uh, click over in this view the first thing we want to do is actually scale this little uh, UV map that we just made for the front of our house up quite a bit so these tiles look realistic here right so scale by pressing S and then just drag it out and pick a nice uh, a nice position I want about six seven eight rows of tile there right go ahead and click to select doesn't matter if it actually matches over the image at all the UV map will automatically set that texture to this image you see how that worked? Now if I come over here and unselect it, I can see I have something started. Okay, now I think it's a little high. I think my things are a little long on top, not wide enough. So uh, I'm actually going to press 1 again to get back into my front view right click on these two faces again and you see they automatically popped right back up I actually want to change the shape of this a little bit so I want to hit S again and you see right down here I have uh, I'm working with the X and Z axis so you don't want it flipped right click to put it right back where it was I'm going to hit S and then Z and now you see I'm only scaling one way I want to make it just a little bit wider first left click to place it there and now let's look at it and see what we look like Mm, yeah, that's not quite right yet. So go ahead and S. And this time I want to go out a little bit on the Z axis. Go the other way. Make it a little bit wider first. It's just scaling it evenly for me. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Down here it's, uh, it says scale S and Y, or X and Y down here. So what I'm going to want to do is use one of the X and Y buttons. So I'm going to first click Y and make it a little shorter. Okay, that looks about right. Left click. Move it around. How does it look? Yeah, that looks about right. It's about good. Okay, let's go ahead and A to deselect and check it out. Let's uh, hit tab to go back into object mode, A to deselect, and check it out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice. So, since we already have this image already uploaded, I can hit Control 1 to go right to the back view 
right select that and then hold shift and right select oh well I gotta go back into edit mode first hit tab to go into edit mode on it and then uh, right click that and then shift select this one and now you see our UV map is not right at all so we're going to have to do the same thing here come under UV map and project this to view and then we want to open the same image it, under recent it should automatically come up with the folder you just opened I want to find the same texture I just had roof tile ivy where was it roof tile no ivy excuse me right there go ahead and double click it and scale this up the same way press S and just pull it out until it's a fairly decent shape first and go ahead and pull this out because I actually want to make sure this is kind of lined up right okay so the next thing I want to do come back over move your mouse back over to this menu press S again and I scaled it out on the Y axis so let's do that again first we need to make it a little shorter so it's about the same as the other one okay that looks about right left click to select it and now it's not in the right place it's not lined up with my other one so hit G to move it and I can move that UV map right along and place it exactly where I want it to be I want it to be almost exactly aligned with my other one it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect I'm not going to be completely perfect here I'm not an actual graphic designer so if you're doing real design you would want to make it more perfect than I am doing here but I'm just showing everyone how to do this right now so okay now one thing I do see is one reason it's not lining up right is because it's not wide enough so I want to scale it out again except this time on the x-axis so press S X and then pull it out just a little bit that's a little too far try to get about lined up eh, a little bit closer that's good enough for me no, maybe just a little closer yeah that looks right left click that and now we need to move it over just a little bit more so over here hit G again and move it into the right position and that's close enough left click to select to set it there and now let's go ahead and jump back out to object mode so hit well first unselect it then hit tab to jump back out to object mode and check that out isn't that nice okay now I am just about out of time for this video so I'll come right back we'll do the other parts of the roof and we will continue from there I will see you soon